Alright, I'm going to share a dream I had, a very profound dream, a very vivid dream, where it felt like I couldn't distinguish reality in the dream, that's how real it was. Smells, feelings were like I was uh, in the in the real world anyway. So, I'm staring out of my front door facing west, it's about dusk. The sun setting here in New Mexico, beautiful sunsets of like orange and pinks and purple start blending in together to where the sun starts going over the uh, the horizon. And I just I remember before this whole dream scenario started kicking off, how thankful I was. And I take a look to my right, which would be the north, and from north to south, I see a huge, long cylindrical missile. Um, I would say it's, it would be an ICBM missile, which stands for Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. It was a huge long one, very shiny. It even glimmed off the sun. And when it crossed my frame of reference where I knew, at least for the moment I was safe, I, I knew exactly where it was going. It was headed for an Air Force base, which is about 30 minutes from where I live. And I knew it was going to strike there. So I'm... Um, standing watching this thing and it hits you see the fireball you see the black smoke rise up and about like 10 to 15 seconds later i feel the aftershock of the pressure and it was so real even even like you would i hear the noise after i see it that far and i feel it it's, it was just so real and i feel the pressure go through me and away and after i'm in my state of shock and I'm kind of gathering my thoughts I hear in my spirit and when I say that in the dream I didn't hear it in my head I felt it I could hear it in my spirit you have a short time to prepare go now so I turn around and I, during this time no one else saw this I felt like this was a warning for me in the dream it was a warning for me to you have a little time to prepare it felt like I was the only one that was out here witnessing what 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 just took place i go in the house um and i start trying to get things together i know like whatever's coming it's about to be crazy so i'm trying to get food and water and thinking about my guns and my ammunition things of importance but my house is messy there is nothing in place and <laughs> where it needs to be to uh get things quickly and go including my family and, and get them all rounded up and i'm thinking I'm a little I'm a little ticked off and uh that I can't that my house isn't in order and after talking to several people and thinking about the dream too it's, it's kind of like scripture it says you know you, you get your home in order he's he's going to prepare a place for us we need to do the same to meet him and that was that was kind of the spiritual side colliding with the physical side in my dream but uh I get it, my family and everybody together, and we get in our car. And um, I remember in the dream, thanking the Lord for me not having a spirit of fear about me at all. I, I, did, I wasn't scared. I was just, okay, where do you want me to go next kind of attitude about it. Everybody else was in a state of shock and awe because um, they heard the noise, but I was the only one that seemed to to see what was going on so I pull out of my driveway and I start heading down a road and I look up underneath the visor of the of the windshield and I see parachutes coming down with it was hundreds of Humvees or military vehicles I know them as MRAPs but they look like you know fancy Jeeps but they're 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 Humvees with huge parachutes and if you look closely thousands of little dots but they were soldiers dropping down with them and i could tell they're all falling at the same rate everything got dropped at almost like it was it was a sneaky it was a sneaky attack and everybody was caught off guard so as i'm driving out toward the highway down down a main street in our town in the dream i'm able to look around and every time i look back i could see parts of the town that's what um and what was going on and when the soldiers boots hit the ground and the vehicles were on the street they were telling everybody to stay in their homes and everybody obeyed and listened and that was part of the dream at the back up one second on each one of the doors something i know was significant and i was made to look 
and zoom in was there was red stars, a predominant red star on each side of the driver and passenger door. And I knew I was supposed to take note of that in the dream. There's red, red stars on each door. And the soldiers were telling everybody to stay indoors and everybody was listening. And in, in the dream, I even remember kind of shaking my head going, this whole pandemic's got everybody just obeying and listening and just listening and obeying. And they're even in the face of death. They're, they could be shot by another soldier. And I don't know what country, what, what uh, military organization, but they just bowed down and listened, just kind of like everything going on. It felt like in the dream, I was going, wow, we have been conditioned to the point of death. And that's, that is one of the, one of the key things. So and the whole time I'm not scared though, and my family is strengthened with me that, and they're not scared also. So that was like a, that was a praise God in that. So I'm heading, I'm heading down street to the highway, and I get to almost to the destination. It's like an, it's like an old convenience store, but it's kind of like a, a hardware store, maybe a paint old paint shop I saw specific tools and things that made me think it was like a little little maybe a mom and pop shop convenience store anyway before we enter in there I turn back to the city to look again and I see a bunch of candles in the window so the street light and now by this time it's dark there the dusk the sun set and uh it's dark and there is little glows of candles in each window so I know I know that all the lights went out and I couldn't for the life of me figure out why I was the only car on the road allowed to drive. All the other cars were not allowed to go anywhere, but mine was. And I thought that was very particularly weird that I was the only one with a running car. But it also went along with nobody got out and nobody nobody uh, else was trying to get out of Dodge, so to speak, like I was. And everybody was just staying put like they were told. So I... Uh, don't know I don't know what the significance in that was but it was um when I entered in and looked back I knew in the dream I knew that it was Passover I don't know why the candles in the windows told me the spirit in me or whatever told me it was Passover and I knew it was Passover and I entered into that shop an old man was there and he wanted to come with me and my family but he was too scared to move and I invited him come with us and he was too scared to move so he didn't but he broke open some glass in an old um, candy uh, machine an old vending machine and he broke out a bunch of candy bars and bags of chips and gave them to us and um, we took off shortly after I get down the highway don't know where I'm going in this whole dream don't know where I'm being led I just know I'm being led and that I don't have a spirit of fear about me at all, which was a blessing. But uh, I got woken up shortly after I'm traveling down the highway, and it was, that was the that was the entirety of the dream. The one thing I do want to say after this dream, there's been a after talking to people and asking the Lord, should I even tell anybody this dream? Is it just meant for me? You know, what do you want me to do with it? it a very weird set of events happened for him to show me only God could do something like this for him to show me that I yeah you need to get this out it may not be what you think it is maybe but it, it's it's a it's a word you probably need to release um, so that was that's pretty much my story the one thing I want to take out of the whole thing for us in our church and anybody listening is that if you never experienced it dream a real world the spiritual world colliding with the physical it's the one word I used before when I tried to make a video about this was it's awesome and awful at the same time. And I mean by awful, like your jaw, you need to get, you need to pick your jaw up off the floor because y you're standing still. It's so awesome and awful at the same time. It is, and it's amazing because that's the, the Holy Spirit, he is the, only one that's allowed to do that it's the only thing that's allowed to make you realize it and take those scales like the bible says off your eyes and when your eyes are open you realize that the spiritual world has hit the physical world and all your prayers mean something everything that is in you is, is for a purpose and that when he doesn't give you the spirit of fear anything is possible and every all things are possible whenever you don't have a spirit of fear you're going to stand still 
and you're going to be questioning when you should be moving, but you're not allowing the Holy Spirit to let you be guided. So, like, there's a lot of things that maybe are unanswered in my dream, but it may not be a physical people dropping on the sky in a war, but I don't, that's not kind of not even the purpose, I don't think, of the dream now that, I, that I've been praying about it, is that you need, we need to be ready, like, in every sense, ready for any moment, and if you're harboring things that God doesn't need and you know it's not in you, I, we need to, me included, we need to drop them. We need to drop them and get them out because those are the things that are going to make you stand still when you need to move. Even when you feel the Holy Spirit pushing you in the back, you're not going to move because you're unsure. And the truth is Jesus, and that is the way. And if you're not following that Holy Spirit, which has been touching all of us lately harder than ever, then you're going to be sitting there wondering what happened whenever you should be going when you should be moving um the one thing that i got out of it which was really important is that god will be protecting his own and for instance your car may not be seen by the enemy if you're in hiding you may not be heard or seen or smelled or whatever and right. and he is protecting you, and I, I don't know, if, Matt, if you got that out of your dream or not, but a very impressive dream. Yeah. Woo! That was a phenomenal dream, and I like what Lynn added at the end. Thank you so much, Matt. Now, for those of you, many of you may not have a platform or a forum to share your dreams, and God may want you to, only if you feel led to do so, and you'd like it to be on video, share below. And I'll be more than happy to do so.